Okay, the food is almost ready, okay? It's gonna be worth the wait, I promise. Wait. Uh mommy's on her way. Okay, she'll soon be here. Okay? It's a slow thing when you give yourself away. It's a slow thing when black and white have turned to gray and thoughts in vain choices made princess pearl come on let's eat are you hungry all right uh, I don't think mom is coming back anytime. Oh, mom is back. Hey, baby. Mommy. Hey, babe. Time to pray. Yep. Do you mind moving your beautiful bag to the other side? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may God bless this food in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. Mm. <sighs> right? You know, I got skills, girl. I got skills. I never doubt it. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, I had to sing for her again. <laughs> You're really spoiling that girl. You know that. I don't have any other option but to spoil her. You know, she told me she wants a brother. She said that to me some days ago. And what did you tell her? I told her it would happen. No sin. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Why don't we start tonight? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What am I doing? I'm trying to get twins. <laughs> oh, you want triplets? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Is not happening. Mm -hmm. Late for work. I need to go. Daddy will take you, okay? So it has to be fast, okay? Baby, I need to go. My end is calling. No sugar for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. You look beautiful. Thank you.
Miranda. Oh my, <laughs> oh my God. What are you doing in my office? Your office? Wait, you work here? <laughs> of course I do. I'm the branch manager. Wow. Well, that's nice because I came to make some inquiries. Yeah, I just moved into town and I'm trying to settle down. Oh, yeah. really? That's nice. Oh my God, you still look beautiful and you haven't aged a day. Wow. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. You know what? Let's go to my office. Come oh, on. okay. of me. I'm out to lunch, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, you don't want to go on this trip? Of course I want to go, you know? Especially with the bonuses attached, you know? You know, I was going to say recommend me for this one. You don't feel good about it. No, it's just I'm going to miss my family, you know? I miss my home. Have a beautiful home. Definitely miss them. I miss them already, you know. I just, I just want to be with them all the time. Ah, man, you stop sounding like you're going for your whole one month. You won't understand, bro. Okay. <laughs> nice yeah, I know. <laughs> My husband and I used to come here a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> yeah. Talking about husband, how is he? And uh, your kids? Oh, they are fine. Everyone is good. I have this one kid, mm. Pearl. That's nice. How about you? How's your family? Oh, well, my, uh, my son is with my mom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's nice. He should be a big boy now. And your wife? I lost her. I lost her uh, trying to give birth to our second baby. Oh my baby. God. I'm so sorry, Dave. I'm sorry. It's, it's cool. It's okay. It's okay. That's the reason why I moved here. I'm trying to have a fresh start. Okay. You'll be okay. It is well. My condolences. You'll be fine, okay? It's okay. Thank you. So where's the waiter? Um, I don't know, they're usually here on time. Excuse me! Hey, babe. Hey, my baby. How are you doing? Good. My baby's asleep already. Yeah, she stayed up waiting on you, you know. She was up for a while, actually. I'm sorry, like, I had such a busy day. Oh, yeah? I'm so tired. My feet hurt. Whew. Sorry to hear that. Why don't I pour you a glass of wine? Let me know when to stop. That's fine. Yeah? Do you know what? Why don't you turn this way? Mm. Give me a leg. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, um, it's cold. <laughs> Is the AC in the car? I guess. Probably, yeah. Um, yeah, so my company just sending me on like a four or five day business trip. It's a big deal, you know, they say they believe I'm the only one that can close the deal. Oh, I think good. they're right. <laughs> Guess who I ran into today? Mmm, babe, I'm not good at guessing, so. Dave Attila. Dave, that's your ex, right? Yeah. 
He just got into town. He lost his wife and his kid. He's in such a bad place right now. Hmm. I just felt sorry for him. I invited him to lunch. I felt he would use some friends. Babe, it seems like you're not happy to hear that. No, it's not that I'm not happy, you know, it's it's okay. I mean you already invited him, you know, so it's it's okay. Why don't you uh why don't you go freshen up, okay? I'll take her to her room. Okay. All right. I was beginning to enjoy that. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. Well let me take her to the room so we can enjoy a lot more. Okay. Good morning, Daddy's friend. Good morning to you, our little princess. How are you doing? I'm fine. Daddy. What? Your breath stinks. My breath could <laughs> never stink. Oh, wow. Okay. That, that stinks. Is that my breath? Because that really stinks. <laughs> I need to take care of that. <sighs> Mommy, is your visitor still coming today? Of course, baby. Okay, come on. Let's go get you showered. <laughs> And you know we have some cooking to do today. Mm. Okay, let's go. Come on. Bring us just come join me. I look good, right? That's my princess. Honey, yeah? I need to go put on some pants. What do you mean pants? It's my house. I just want to be comfortable. This is yes. okay. Right? She understands it. He is your guest, not your friend. Well, technically, not my guest. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So you have to go put on You're some really pants? going to make me do this. Of course. You have to put on pants. Jeez. Okay. Thank you.
you talking about? Huh? What you just did out there? What? That guy has feelings for you. It's so obvious that he has feelings he for you. He is my friend. Oh, he's your friend. About his friend thing, I feel uncomfortable with him being around you, okay? It's obvious that he has feelings for you, and I don't feel comfortable you hanging with him. I don't. <sighs> Wait. Is this insecurity or what? Babe, it's not, it's not insecurities, it's facts. Okay, I can see the way he talks to you, the way he looks at you, the way he tries to touch you. I don't like it. I do not like it. It makes me uncomfortable. So you're saying you don't trust me? I'm not saying I don't trust you, okay? That's not what I'm saying. It's just hard to kill feelings for someone, especially for a guy, okay? It's difficult. Look at you. So do you still have feelings for your ex? No! What? No! Why would you even ask me that question? Are you serious? I don't have feelings for her. But well, you just spoke about it being difficult for a man to keep feelings for his ex. That's not what I meant, okay? I meant for Dave or whatever his name is. I'm not talking about me. That's not what I meant, babe, okay? Come on. Babe, I just told you everything this person has been through. He just lost his family. This guy's going through a lot and the least that I could do is be a friend. Yeah. Yeah. And instead of you to just understand that you're busy going on and on about him trying to have something with your... Come on. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm really disappointed. Oh, babe, I'm sorry. I, if I embarrassed you, I'm sorry. Babe, come on. Dave, I'm sorry. <sighs> Babe, come on. Come on. I'm, I'm so going to miss really... my flight. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I had to wear something else. Yeah, you look beautiful, but I'm going to miss my flight because of that. Okay. Hey, honey. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Your bags. You wouldn't believe Fidel still has insecurity issues. Dave. Dave. Which Dave? Same Dave. Oui. Dave Attila. Uh huh. <laughs> you need to see his face when Dave hugged me. Fido was fuming. <laughs> Considering how you and Dave broke up, if I were Fido, I won't let him come close to your house. I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Whatever Dave and I had is a long time ago, and besides, I'm married now. Ah. So you know how anything would happen between us. Please. It's best to stay away from Dave. Don't let him come ruin a happy home. Most times the devil packages someone that comes in as a friend or acquaintance. Okay, mommy.
the importance of uh, open communication channels cannot be overstated, you know, for institutions to work effectively and efficiently, it's uh, vital to uh, outline these. Um, Hey, Miranda, what's wrong? Hey. What happened? Why are you doing here? Um, my car just stopped firing and it just wouldn't start. I had to get the mechanic. Oh, okay. So he's your mechanic. Mm -hmm. Oh, well done. Oh, well, well done. Right. So uh, what exactly is the problem now? Guys, one so, Are you sure me. that's the problem? Because I would have thought Hello? it's something from this way. Good day, Miss Vita. It's not firing now, is that not it? Oh, uh, okay. You've checked I'll the belt. I'll be on my way. Thank you. Uh, I need to go get help from school. Okay. Uh, Oga, be like say you go bring her and come house, so I need to go. Okay, um, I don't know. I'll just get a taxi or something. No, that, that won't be necessary now. I can just drop it there myself. Okay. Okay, so... Thank you. you... Let me just get my things. All right, all right. say thank you all once again for lending me your attention. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. It was great. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. It's been a long time coming. The beards. They finally put you on the spot. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, and you, you've been aging backwards. Okay, let's go grab lunch. You meet me in the car. Okay, sweetie, just go freshen up, okay? Okay. So, Dave, what can I offer you? Nothing, I'm fine. You know I'm not going to take that. I remember the last time I was here. The look on your husband's face, it, it made me very uncomfortable. My apologies. Feed and I had a conversation in bed regarding what happened the other day, and I understand where he's coming from, so I had to make things clear. Um, do you remember the night he proposed to you? That is history. But I still think about it. A lot. Well, I'm glad nothing happened, because I'm sure I would have regretted it. Regretted it? I'm sure you wouldn't have. If anything happened that night, I wouldn't have forgiven myself. You're always too hard on yourself. Too hard. Dave, I'm married. And my husband would not appreciate this. I know. Well. I am married. We need to set boundaries, Dave. Mom, I'm very safe to wear my caps. 
Oh, sweetie. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I need to take her to my mom's place. Well, I was about to go in out so I could drop you guys. Oh, no, it's fine. I got it under control. Uh, my mechanic just brought my car. Yeah. Besides, you've done enough for us already. Thank you. Okay. So I just... I'll just take my leave now. Yeah, you should. Did you bring your backpack? Hmm? Your backpack. You go get it? Okay, go get it. Bye. Yes, uh, because of the history that we share, I would like to apologize for everything I put you through. It's okay. Let sleeping dogs lie. So, how have you been? I've been good. I've been, uh, I've been blessed, you know, with a beautiful wife and an amazing daughter, you know, she's... Uh... Hold on, let me guess. You named your daughter Pearl. <laughs> you remember it. Yes, I did. Yeah, that's because you've always loved that name. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I have. <laughs> so, what about you? What's up with you? I've been okay. You know, I searched everywhere for you after you left, so you were nowhere to be found. I'm so sorry about how I left. Mm -hmm. Like you know, I said, it's... it's okay. Yeah. So, how's the hotel? It's nice. Well, it's, it's, it's nice, yeah. Okay, so why don't you eat up so I go drop you off at the hotel? Uh, that won't be necessary. You know, I, I don't want to stress you. Hey, you know. I insist. Okay, that's the least I could do for you. I don't want to inconvenience you, so... You're not inconveniencing me. I insist. Beautiful place. Yeah, it's just for a week. Can I use the restroom? Yeah, sure, of course. Stop, stop, please, please. I have a wife, okay, I'm married. But she's not here. Just stop, stop, stop. I can't do this. I'm not that guy anymore, okay? Just, please stop.
How are you doing, Enora? Good day. Good Miss Adams, it's Miss Adams. Okay, how are you doing, Enora? Miss um, Adams. Can I see what you have for us? Of course. I need more on this implementation. Work on it and um, get back to me tomorrow. And Nora, you know, about what happened. Have you know. a good day. And Nora, it's just. Please shut the door behind you. doing here? I, uh, I brought wine. Come in. How did you find my house? I, uh, asked around in the office and it's open. Let me know when it's, when it's just like. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's okay. Thank you. Yeah. You did me dirty. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I didn't mean to leave that. It's just, there was a lot at stake, you know? I had dreams and stuff, you know? And I wasn't part of the plan? No, that's not, that's not what I'm saying. You were young, you know? And considering everything that happened, I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry.
yeah, yeah, I'll be with you. I'll be with you shortly. Yeah, just give me a few minutes. Yeah, okay, thank you. What have I done? What did I... Ah, uh, what did I do? What have I done? You're talking like you didn't enjoy it. It's not... I'm, this was a mistake, okay? I shouldn't have done this. This was... Ah! Uh. Where's my shirt? What to get feared for our anniversary? I don't know. <sighs> Please, you can get him anything, and you know he loves you very much, so he will appreciate it. I know, but he's just been such a caring, loving husband, and I just want to get him something nice. Well, that's your business. But right now, Boyo has been making passes at me, and I don't know what to do. What do you mean you don't know what to do? I mean, he has been making passes at you since forever. Hey, baby. Hello, baby. How are you doing? Bye. Missed you so much. Missed you too. <laughs> hey. Thank you. That. Hi. So, uh. How are you doing? Okay. Let's go inside. Okay. Valerie okay. will be fine. Thank you. <laughs> So, how much are we talking about? Well, the vendors reached out to me and I don't think we'll spend that much. Oh. I mean, it's just family and friends, so... Yeah. Yeah. Who's calling you at this time of the night? Oh, it's um, just one of these clients. I'll return the call tomorrow. Is there a reason why you switched up your phone? Babe. Hey. It's a day before our special day, okay? It's 10 year anniversary, okay? Let's go back in time before the busy day gets here. Thank you. Your dress is so beautiful. Thanks. Your dress is lovely as well. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, bro. How hey, you doing? look at you, babe. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Good. You know, I look okay. I look like okay. I like the shoes. What are you doing here? What are you doing in my house? It's your anniversary, isn't it? Exactly. You shouldn't be here. So I came to celebrate with you. What are you? I swear to God, if you do not leave this second, I am going to flip out. Leave. What are you doing here? Get out, if you don't want to. 
babe. You okay? Yes, yes. Hey. It's um I was so I was she's a new staff, you know, I was saying hi. Okay. You look beautiful, like I said. Thank you. <laughs> so lucky. I am lucky. Whoa, look at how gorgeous she looks. Hmm. My queen. Okay, please give me your attention, everyone. Please, it's time to cut the cake. Hmm. So over to the cake table. Mm. All right. Please. The <laughs> to the couple, we're right behind you. Okay. Mm. Nice. Mm. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the most romantic family of the decade. Okay, so I'd like to say on behalf of the couple, thanks to every one of you for coming to share in this moment of joy. I've known this couple for over 10 years, and honestly, they've taught me one thing, what a true godly home really looks like. Except you've refused to get a wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think I'll take that to consideration, my friend. All right, so before we cut the cake, I'm sure the couple has something to say to the guest here today. So I'll begin with the lady. <clears throat> uh, first off, I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone for coming through today on a special day like this. I mean, it's so overwhelming having to see all of you guys. And then to my, my darling husband, I want to say thank you for everything. You've been so sweet, supportive, loving, caring. Fido, you're perfect for me. <laughs> okay, guys, I think sometimes she exaggerates. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, um, in all seriousness, you know, um, God has given me an amazing woman. Thank you for loving an imperfect man so perfectly. You're perfect to me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Woo! Wow, okay. Without taking too much of your time, please, please, let's, let's just cut this game. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so uh, at the spirit of love, we cut the cake. And I take the L from Fidel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, L. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 I take the L from there. And then the second later, I'll okay. Be okay, guys, we're going to cut the cake in three. <laughs> One, two, three. Yo! Whoa! <laughs> it was going to take forever. <laughs> I love Happy you, baby. Happy anniversary, baby. Oh. Wow. Wow. Hey, Enora, Enora, hey, what the hell are you doing here, huh? How did you find my house? Who gave you my house address? Your wife. What? She gave you my house address? You know what? What? I feel so sorry for her when she finds out she's been living with a stranger for the past 10 years. You know, you said something about not being so perfect, yet she loves you in your imperfections. Hey, not even there. Okay, whatever happened between us was a mistake. It was a mistake. I was drunk. I wasn't myself, okay? <laughs> Yet you drained life out of it. Look, if you should ask me, I would say you've not had that kind of sex in the last... Is everything all right? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we were just, we were just talking. Oh. What is going on here? Maybe you should ask him. Look. Young lady, I do not know you, but I see you flex with my friend's husband. Oh, Miranda is your friend. Oh, yes. A very good one at that. So, whoring yourself at her husband is something I'm not going to let slide so easily. It's best you stay away from him. Is that a threat? Oh, yes. It certainly is. Oh, well. Okay, madam, good friend. Um, I have a gift for your friend. I would love for you to help me give to her. That's because I won't be going back in. Just hold on till I get a gift, okay? Thank you.
Um. <clears throat> So, maybe by the time she gets this, she would find out that her perfect husband is not so perfect after all. Bye, stranger. I thought you said she wasn't your colleague. No, um, no, I didn't say she was not my colleague. I only said that she's a new staff. You know, she's new. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. There was something off about the babe. She was just acting weird. Really? Yeah. I mean, one minute she said she wanted to hand me a gift, and the next thing she disappeared. Oh, oh really? I, I, I didn't know that. I had no idea. Anyways. Hello? Waiting for what? You get her number. Hello? Hello? Okay, Valerie, okay, all right. Just what I thought, Feed. You might mean everything to your wife whom you worship, but to me you're nothing but a cheat and a liar. Gosh, you don't want to know how much it disgusts me. It was a mistake, okay? It was a moment of weakness. Yet you couldn't bring your flesh to subjection. What do you want? Huh? Is it money? Because, I mean, you resorted to blackmail, so how much do you need? How much? Hold on, wait. You think I'm doing this because of money? You're offering me money? You know what? I, I just want my life back. I want everything you promised me when you were ruining my life. Feed, I want you. I'm married, okay? You know I'm married, I have a wife. What do you mean? What are you talking? I have, I'm married. Wait until your wife gets to see the pictures. What pictures? You took pictures? Yeah. Why would you do that? I would... I'm sure her best friend would have delivered the pictures to her by now. Bro, I need to, I need to meet, I need, we need to, come see me, come see me right now, huh? Look, 
man, she's not taking a call. You need to reach out, okay? You need to guess her before she gets to my wife, okay? Please, I, you just have to. My God, I'm finished. I'm just... Fide, honestly, I am lost here. What is going on? I cheated on my wife. You what? I know. Don't judge me. Please, don't judge me, okay? You slept with another woman? Man, that is bad. It's a sin against your flesh, your wife, and, and even God. I know it's a sin, but it was a mistake, okay? I didn't plan for it to happen. I didn't want it to happen. It was a mistake. I mean, who is she? Wait, I, I know this face. She was at the anniversary party. She's my ex. Oh. We dated a long, long time ago, and um, I was her first boyfriend, you know? Wow. She was 18 when we met. Um, she was young, wild, free, you know, a bit naive. I loved her, you know? She was madly in love with me. Hmm. Well, that was her first. Hi. I guess you promised her heaven on earth to make her idolize you. And then you left. Oh. Wait, hold on. She just tested me. She did? Yes. She, what did she say? She's on her way to your place. What? Yes, man. Wow. Oh, Sh should I call her back? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. call her. Hi. Hi. Hello. Yeah, um, sorry about the other day. I had to leave early. Um, I brought you your gift. Oh, thank you so much. Really You're welcome. This. Your husband is a good man. <laughs> thank you. Um, I would love for you guys to open the gift together. Trust me, it will be so much fun. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, really. Okay. <laughs> Can we take a picture together? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, sorry. Um, thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, I have to um, run off to work now. Okay, okay. Thank you for the gift. You're welcome. Yeah, bye. Bye. Show her, please. Miranda is my friend, and she deserves to know what you're doing behind her. No, 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 no. Listen, this is my marriage you're talking about, okay? This is my marriage. Please. Oh, and Miranda is my friend. I know, but if you tell her it's going to end the marriage, it's. Please don't show her. Please. I'm begging you. It's not. What the hell? What is it? She delivered another parcel to Miranda. Oh.
babe, I can totally explain, okay? I can, it's, it's not what it looks like. I'm telling you, it's not what it looks like. Babe, come on, don't over, overreact. Okay, I can explain, I can totally explain. I'm telling you. Go ahead. You. Okay. Babe, it, um, it's just, uh, oh, So now you stammer. No. No, 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 babe, babe, wait, wait, calm down. She is, she, she was my, she, she was, my, was. Babe, she was my ex. Okay, babe, 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 baby. Please, please. Was. Is. You were in her bed. Did you sleep with her? Only God knows how many women you have slept with. Baby, you're overreacting. I didn't. Don't touch me! She. Uh, babe, forgive me. Just forgive me, please. Please. Get out of my way. How long have you had this? She gave it to me on the night of your wedding anniversary. Why didn't you tell me? I was only trying to protect your marriage. Eh? I was just trying to look out for you, that's all. Run. Miranda, Miranda, you know what? So save it. Now I know where your loyalty lies. No, Miranda, Miranda, Miranda. Miranda. Hello? Yeah, no, I can hear you. She's where? Okay. Thank you so much for this. Thank you, I really appreciate this, yeah? Okay, all right. She was here, but she left when she saw the pictures in my drawer. 
I don't know. I think she's supposed to be at her mom's place. Yes, yes, you push your check there. Okay, okay. Yeah. Try to put yourself together. I can understand your hurting, and I wish there was something I could do to ease your pain. I can't believe he ended up being like the rest of them. Come on. You know your husband is not the type to cheat. I thought he was different. I would have vouched for him with my life. It's okay. Please just stop crying, okay? Stop. Stop. It's fine. You know you should pick his call. I'm sure he'll be worried sick by now. I don't care about that. Look, he made a mistake. And I'm sure it's not something he's proud of. You don't know that. She's his ex. That's not even the point. The point is, I see a lady trying to wreck your home and you're giving her the free pass to do so. Come on. Be that fierce lady I know you to be. Okay? Stop weak. crying. You're not weak. You're strong. You're strong. Trust me, you're strong. Stronger than you know. Let's go get Hey, get your hands off me! What? Leave my house. What do you take me for? You're trespassing. Do you know that? It's illegal what you're doing. You're in my matrimonial home. Oh, Fidel, you call this trespassing? <laughs> then I see you're yet to get the memo. Which is? Because I don't get it. I'm lost. And Nora wants her life back. I'm not holding your life. Yes, you are. You took my life and you messed it up. Three abortions and a womb that will never bear children again. I mean, you promised me the world to see me naked. Stop, 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 stop. You stop. Did? I just, what, what you promised me? Just stop, stop! Isn't this what you stop. wanted? Stop! Just to see me naked! That's not what I'm trying to say. Stop, 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 please. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about the past. But now, I have a family, I have a beautiful wife, I have a daughter, she's awesome. It's worth fighting for, okay? So, I wasn't worth fighting for. Is it what you're trying to tell me?
Dan Fidel. Fidel. Hmm. Get up, get up. Hey man, I've been calling your phone. And hey, you're not picking. Is she back yet? No, I haven't heard her phone. I haven't heard her phone. Oh. I see we have visitors. Good morning. It's not what it looks like. It's not what it looks like, okay? It's... What is she doing here? Get out of this place. <laughs> this minute! On whose order? Or you think your muzzles and stoned face will make me move an inch? <laughs> then you need to ask Fidel who Enera Adams is. It's obvious you want to wreck this peaceful home, but... Oh, will you shut up? What peaceful home? A man who ruins the life of an innocent girl? <laughs> Even the Bible says there's no peace for the wicked. Fida, what is she talking about? I'm talking about the man who made me a woman. How the DNC performed on me at the age of 18, 19. Not one. Not two. Not three. Run away in the middle of the night. Leaving me to another pregnancy. Drug me into terminating the pregnancy, which resulted to complications. What? Look. I'm a scorned woman. Your friend has no idea of who she's been married to. This... This is supposed to be my life. This is supposed to be my life. Fidel, tell them. Tell them how you destroyed my life. Tell them how you destroyed everything that has to do with me. When my only crime was loving you. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. It was in the past. I'm a changed man now. I'm a totally different person, okay? I have a family now. I have a wife and yes. a kid. Please. You found your way to my bed. Opened every wound that fought to heal for years. Fidel. Mwabak for losing. I will take my pound of flesh. Tell me you finally chased her out. I wish I could say that. What do you mean you wish? Maybe you don't understand what this is. Bro, I, it was a second of stupidity, okay? I slipped up for a second. You know, it's a little sin, honestly. Mm, no, no, no. There is no little sin. At least you told me that. I know, I know, I know, I know. I was stupid. I was stupid. I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. I regret it. Have you heard from Miranda yet? No. Her phone is still not going through. I don't know if she blocked me. I don't know what's going on, but I haven't heard from her. What if she decides to go home and find Tenora in the house? I mean, have you thought of that? What 
the hell are you doing in my house? Oh. Did you say your house? I should be the one asking you what you're doing here. Because the last time I checked, Fidel told me my replacement had left and he asked me to move in. Oh, yeah, Fidel was right. Because he told me that my presence was gonna egg you. Did you say your house? Girl, you've had him for so long. I am here to take my man. Out! 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 Stop! Out! Stop! Out! Relax. I want to kill her. Oh, there goes the shameless man. So you invited her here and told her that I left? What? Who said? Did you say that? What do you want from me? I've said sorry a million times. I've apologized. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? I was young. And youthful exuberance got the best of me. Okay? I'm sorry though. I understand that it's no justification for what you're going through or what you went through or all of that. I know. But I'm sorry. Okay? Just... So... <laughs> what, what do you mean you're sorry? I am. What do you mean you're sorry? Do you think you can do whatever you want and get away with it just because you've said sorry? Or do you think your sorry will bring back everything that I've lost? Do you know that because of our man, I cannot have a child? Will your sorry fix that too? Will it? Maybe when you have a forever to live without a child you call your own, then you understand how I feel. When I'm done with you, I'll tell you sorry too. How is she? She's asleep. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I know I deserve anything you decide to do to me and more, but I'm sorry. All I ask for is a second chance. Please, please. I'm so sorry, babe. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I nearly lost my daughter today because of you. What if she succeeded? Answer me! Because you couldn't keep, because you couldn't keep it in your pants. Your lingering psycho ex-girlfriend nearly killed my daughter. You know what, maybe, maybe she's right. Maybe I don't even know who I married. No, 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 babe, no, 
Listen, I'm the same guy, okay? I'm the same guy you fell in love with. I'm the same guy you married. The demons from my past, right? It's ugly head, but that's what it is, baby. It's my past. I'm not there anymore. I'm not there mentally. I don't, I've changed. I'm a different person, okay? You're my present and my future, babe. I'm so sorry. I am sorry. I love you so much. So much, and you know that. I'm sorry. Please don't cry. I'm sorry. Vito. Yes, babe. I want a divorce. He just left. This is the seventh time in two days. Forgive this guy already now. I don't want to see him now. I'm not ready. Especially not in this condition. Condition? What condition? I'm pregnant. Oh, wow. That, that's good news. I mean, that's good. Look. We need him now, more than ever. Please forgive this guy. No, I need me now more than ever. I need myself, my peace of mind, my sanity. That is what I need. Mm -hmm. Think about it, please. <laughs> so happy to see you. Hey. Hey. Uh, I want to. I'm not signing that. I'm not signing that. I'm not signing it, babe. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I hurt you. I did a lot of dumb stuff. I'm sorry. Okay, please. Just please forgive me. Please. Dad, are you crying? <laughs> no, it's, um... No, princess. I'm just... I wronged your mother. And... I need her forgiveness. Babe, please give us a second chance. Mommy, please forgive him. Please. Get up. Not until you forgive me. Oh, get up. Stop embarrassing yourself in front of our daughter. Open it. This is real? Yeah. 
<laughs> You're going to have a baby brother or My sister. My brother is here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Babe, I promise to be the best husband and father I can be. I promise. Thank you so much for giving us a second chance, babe. Gonna blame the devil. I made a mistake, I know. I am gonna save you the trouble. I do admit I was wrong. I take the responsibility, so I'm here to say I'm sorry. Sorry, I hurt you. And I deceived you Cause you deserve better Give me a chance and I'll make this right I don't wanna ever lose the magic we had Give me a chance cause you're worth fighting for And I'll never ever let you go was lost in a moment of weakness How did I let this happen? Now I'm stuck in the midst of the storm And only your love can save me I take the responsibility So I'm here to say I'm sorry Sorry I hurt you and I deceived you Cause you deserve better Give me a chance and I'll make this right And then you're there up in your head Building up things in your head Thinking it's having something Oh, come on, Dave You know, I'm, I'm disappointed yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry oh, I'm sorry, babe, come sorry, on Sorry, come back You called him Dave just now You see? Hey, you you see? <laughs> hey, she called me Dave <laughs> She rolled in my head Oh, wow Yeah it makes it worse. I told you everything. Look just. Okay. I told you everything. I think we're a bit closer. All right. So allow him to try to apologize before you walk away. Okay. Cool. So when you try to apologize, like try to move a bit. Yeah. Stop you and walk away. Let's go. And action. You go back and drop the this thing, the can you shoot? What should okay. your leg? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Subject of the same, but because of saying that the family that they talk about now, the wife, Ray, and her, ah, and they're the three most important things for this scene, yeah. you get yeah. those three people now. So, anybody we know they we go disturb us for this thing, we feel just they can't say for us now, like this. So, in like they just out of any time, we just say. Ready, we just start a shift for you. They get okay. So, just knock out for us. I will not say how you break out. You focus on the let's go, let's go, let's go. I do, I really drive up. I drive up. Okay, let's go. Standing by. I don't wanna ever lose the magic we had Give me a chance cause you're worth fighting for And I'll never ever let you go Give me a chance and I'll make this right I don't wanna ever lose the magic we had Give me a chance cause you're worth fighting for And I'll never ever let you go Gonna blame the devil. I made a mistake, I know. I am gonna save you the trouble. I do admit I was wrong. I'm not gonna blame. 
the devil I made a mistake I know I am gonna save you the trouble I do admit I was wrong I take the responsibility so I'm here to say I'm sorry Sorry I hurt you and I deceived you Cause you deserve better